Logic Zero example 26.1, a proof in one step. Okay, so this is our introduction to proofs. And this is, you know, what we've been working up towards for the entire course. And uh, now all of our hard work is going to come to fruition. Uh, once we're able to understand proofs and be able to produce proofs, uh, we've pretty much accomplished what we need to accomplish in this course. Um, and uh, as you'll see, this is a much uh, more sophisticated way of looking at deductive reasoning, um, more sophisticated than our truth table analysis. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to start with something uh, very simple. So this is the way that problems involving proofs will be given to you. You'll you'll be given a proof with the the premises, and then there'll be a vertical bar here, and then the colon indicating, okay, this is the conclusion of the argument B. So what you want to do is you want to just uh, set this aside. And basically, the name of the game in, in completing a proof is to start with the premises and then use the rules of inference. So the rules of inference are right here at the beginning of the chapter, chapter 26. And we've talked a lot about modus ponens. Modus ponens is a rule of inference. We've proved using a truth table that that it is a valid argument form. And now, uh, when we do proofs, we're going to use this as a rule. So modus ponens now becomes a rule. It becomes like a move in a game that we're allowed to do. All right. So, so uh, what we can do here. And this is a proof of one step. So I'm telling you, it's a, a proof in one step. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, our third line of the proof is just going to be the conclusion, B. And the reason that I'm able to conclude B here is because looking at lines one and line two, Modus ponens says that we can put B here because we're thinking of let P equal not A whoop, and Q is equal to B. So we have, you know, bracketing, we have not A, B. And we have not a, the antecedent being affirmed, and therefore we can conclude the consequent of the first premise. So, uh, this is what our proof looks like. We put uh, semicolons at the end of each line. And then here we're going to notice that we open a proof with a proof tag, and then we're going to do a slash and proof, whoop, proof with our funny brackets. And then, uh, and then the answer string is going to look like this. We're going to get rid of all the, the line breaks. And the answer string that we'll submit as our proof is this uh, that I've highlighted. 